All right, so on the last video, we were able to make sure that this form was working. After a couple tries of not having coffee, we made this happen. All right, but anyways, so let's go ahead and finish up and try to get in some data inside our database. So now that we have some data coming in, let's go ahead and the first thing that we need is to get the post actually we need to get this post ID right here let's get that right here so if it's set we need to get that right from the URL and let's do some inserting first we need to get all the post data out so let's go ahead and post and what are the fields that we're sending? We're sending the post com uh, comment author, if I can get it right. I got some coffee now, so I'm more active. All right, guys? So, comment author. You see that? And I'm, I'm even faster. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. All right, so. Let's. So we get a comment author, the comment email, comment content. Boom. Yes. Email and the content. All right. So you know exactly what we're doing, right? When we submit this, when we click on this button right here, the submit, we're going to get all this data from all these input fields, all right? We got the names right here, comment author, comment email, comment content. We're going to get all that, actually three parts of that data. And we get in the post ID from the URL in the get super global. All right. That is in the URL right now. Next part is making the query. So let's do that right now. So the query that we will be making is an insert, insert into query. Remember that? We got two parts, the insert to, and of course, we got to send it to the database, but insert into what? What is the table? Remember? You can pause it and think about it. Comments. And here we have like a parenthesis like this, and we're going to insert all the columns where we're going to be inserting this data to. So the first comment, uh, column that we will be inserting is comment all right as a matter of fact let me see something let me I don't remember the comment the data comment post ID because I want to relate this to a post all right so let's do that right now as a matter of fact comment post ID and let's put it all the way to the side so you can see it I'm gonna make it a little smaller so I got a little more room. You should know what I'm doing right now. I'm putting all the columns there that we need some information in. So the comment post ID, we are also submitting the comment date. We should go in order, by the way, but right? Comment post ID, comment, oh, let's go in order. Alter, alter email content and status email content and I know I know what I'm doing and status all right so we're gonna add this little thing here because you see I told you I got my coffee status and date all right Come and date. All right, we're going to submit all this information. Of course, we're not going to be getting all this information from here. All right, we're not going to be doing that. Actually, the post status, yeah, we can, we can, uh, the post status is going to be a static value, meaning that it's a value that's not going to be dynamic from here. We're going to be able to change it in, in our database. In our, in our admin, all right? So we're going to do another query and make sure that you concatenate this with a dot, a notation there, and an assignment operator. And this is just going to have the values. 
and these values are coming in hard coded post comment post ID how where are we gonna be getting this ID from do you know where from well we got the post ID right here why not get it from here right yeah and we don't even we don't even need to put the little um, quotes around it right comment author we are getting it from here perfect and this one we need to put the quotes and the brackets that's fine just to distinguish it oops that was just really bad there I don't want to make this one too bad so I'm gonna to try to hurry up guys I promise all right email and uh, right there let's get this one out of there boom let's get the content okay there we go let's get the status and that is going to be static the status is gonna be uh, unapproved unapproved that's gonna be the status right there and that's gonna be something that we are sending right now from here and the common day of course is gonna be the what function can we send here the now function yeah that's fine all right perfect so I think we're done with here I'm gonna cut it off and I'll see you in the next lecture there where we are gonna be finishing this off and finally sending some data in all right thank you so much for watching see you in the next one